Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org. Coming to you this Friday afternoon, July 29th. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of SPY, ES, IWM, and Triple Qs. And after a horrible, horrible start for the first six months of the year, the Bulls finally put a really nice winning month under their belt, up $35 for the month. We do have an inside month, as does Russell. Believe it or not, Triple Qs took out last month's high. So Triple Qs are officially in balance. We're going to go over all the charts. Um, very strong week. Last week we closed at 395 So on the week, we were up $10 last week. This week we're up, where did we close? We closed around 412 or so. So we're up another $17 this week. So very, very nice um, finish for the last two weeks to the month. I went live today and didn't... <laughs> I didn't, I traded very small. I lost on a day, nothing big, didn't do a lot. Um, for, I'm going to say, I, not so much I was lulled to sleep today. When we went trend, I think I was more a little biased. Now, this has come from somebody who's been bullish. I said, I'm going to give you a, what I think the market's going to go over the next at least two months, right? I don't really want to go out more than that because nobody really knows, no matter what they say. Um, but on the intraday today, I thought being seven for seven wide, maybe being a little tired and stretched out, we would make a new high and come back in, right? So obviously that didn't happen. We had three sets of single prints. We filled one of them late, but we do go out with a price spike. We go out with a double distribution day. We go out with a price probe. I mean, I, my first trade of the day was a winner. I shorted against the overnight POC in ES, which made, uh, which made me money. I traded the MESs, traded very small. Believe it or not, I lost money on a long in C when it came in. Um, I thought maybe D would just take out C's low by a little bit. It started coming in more. I took it off for a loss. Obviously, that's, you know, D and E were the lows, and then we went back up. And then I took one more short in I, thinking, like I said, it would be a fade, a fade event to come back in because we had had a wide pock. I said there's three things that can happen. We go trend. We roll over and get a wider pock and an afternoon pullback low. I thought we had better odds of getting an afternoon pullback and a wider pock. Obviously, I was wrong, but I didn't get stubborn, took it off for a loss, that's it. So I did only three trades, lost on two of them. No, Nothing big, though. So that was that on the trading. Um, triple Qs go out with a double distribution day. One set of singles in J. They price probed. Russell. Price probe, no single prints. They filled all of them. So no, pro, uh, no, uh, no trend day for them, but they did get nine wide. We were only seven wide along with uh, triple Qs. Now, let's go and go over the uh, destinations and then we'll get to these charts. That's, that's the fun part because I think things are changing. So today's high, do not forget, is a monthly high. 413.03 and it's also an inside month. Above that, we have price vacuums. We have 415.82 daily high, 416.22 daily high, 416.61 weekly high, and then 417.44 monthly high, which is June's high. Now, we had the inside month. If we come out of today to the upside, we're coming out of an inside month to the upside, but I would still call it balance. We'll go over that when we go over the charts, but it will be interesting. For the downside, L's high was a price probe, 412.69. Then we have single prints, two sets. They start at 411.77, get filled at 62. That's L's low to J's high. And the second set starts at K's low to I's high, 411.36, get filled at 22. And then there's nothing until today's low, 406.77. Now, Let's get to those charts. This should be the fun part. Again, I want to thank everybody who likes and subscribes to this channel. Again, I'm trading the, uh, the futures now uh, exclusively, but I am certainly giving the reference points still in SPY because that's the ones I've had forever. So I'll be continuing to do that. But if you trade the SPY or ES, come check us out for $30 a month, at least for one month. All right, let's get to the charts. So here's Russell. Russell has an inside month. I will call that still down to balance. 
If we take out this month's high, it initially will come into a three-month balance, which would be June, July, and August. Now, May's high, again, 193.93 is the high, 190.94. So to tell you the truth, if we take out this month's high, I would make it a four-month balance right away, which may be in the high of it and June being the low of it. So inside month, down to balance right now in Russell. Weekly, up, clearly up. One time framing up for two weeks. We came out of basically two inside weeks in a row to the upside. So up on a weekly, daily, up. One time framing up three days above the 20 and the 50 and the 20 is getting ready to cross the 50. Again, we ask ourselves, are things starting to change or is this just another rally in a down market, which we've been all year. Not gonna, you know, Russell and Q's were, were bad. The S&P really hasn't. Now let's go to triple Q's. They took out last month's high. It is now officially balanced on the monthly. Now, do you want to call it a two-month balance coming into Monday or a three-month balance? May's high was 330.29. That's a lot higher than Russell's was, right? It's um, That's $14 higher. So for me, it's going to be different in Q's. If Q's take out this month's high, I'm going to go up most likely on the monthly. Do you see the difference? Here's IWM. IWM, May's high and June high, only 4 or $5 apart. So to me, it would be a four-month balance if we take out last month's high. But Q's, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> again, and again, this is not wrong. You can call whatever you want if they take out this month's high. You can call a four-month balance or you can call it up. It's subjective. I would probably give the, uh, the uh, bulls their due and call it up. But don't think May's high isn't important because you're not going to really get any legs unless you take out May's high. So, but for now, the monthly is balance. The weekly is up, clearly up. And the daily, same thing, up. And the 20 already crossed the 50. Actually, they crossed the 50 on Wednesday. Okay? Now let's go to SPY and ES. So we have an inside month, just like, all, just like Russell. If we take out this month's high, I will call it for now a three-month balance, okay? That would be um, June, July, and August. If we get above June's high with any acceptance, then I'll see if at some point the monthly would go, right? Right now it's down to balance. It absolutely goes to balance if we take out this month's high. Then depending on the extension we get, do we call it a four-month balance or would we call it up also like we like I'm doing in the triple Qs if we get acceptance above June's high? Again, we'll go over it when that happens. But for now, still down to balance until we come out of the inside month. And please keep one thing in mind. We are very close to today's high. So obviously the odds of taking out the inside month for us and Russell are a lot better than taking out the inside month uh, low, Right? But that doesn't necessarily, you know, that's not set in stone. That's not a 100% guarantee. So keep that in mind. Weekly is firmly up on the weekly, uh, for the SPY and ES. And so is the daily and the 20 is getting ready to cross the 50. So why do I think something's changed in the short term? Because the market's telling us it has, right? We've pushed down the weekly, pushed down how many weeks? Right? We failed at a four-week balance low, came out of it, and now we blew through a four-week balance. Right? That balance high was 393. We got to 413. That's a nice $20 move. Now, of course, we want to take out last month's uh, this week's high to take out last month's high. But if you do, right, the weekly and daily have changed. The monthly will certainly change if we take out this month's high to officially put us back into at least balance. So I said I'd give a short-term outlook through September. I think this market has a pretty good chance in the bigger picture of not only to obviously not taking out J July's month,
but taking out June's month and also May's month. I think, and then then we'll, we'll you know, now again, that's not a lot. That's only $17. We, we, we do $17 in a heartbeat, but we have to take baby steps. So for me, that's the first step. Let us get above May's high, and then we'll start reassessing what the next uh, stop is. Here's May's high on the weekly, right? After that, it becomes 430. I said, I think that's the easy one to get. Then above that, you know what the next one is? 4501. And then 462. So the monthly <clears throat> is 457.83. So that's not going to be my first target. The first target above May's high will be this weekly high of 450. I'll round it out, 450. Now, can we get to that level by the end of September? Not sure. That's why I'm saying let's take baby steps. Okay. Let's take out June's high first. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, June's high first of 417. And more importantly, May's high of 430. If we get acceptance above 430, then I think we could see 450 prior to the next Fed meeting. If we don't get acceptance above 430, well then, prior to the Fed meeting, you're going to have a nice four-month range of whatever um, August becomes. If we say we stretch it a little bit, right? Getting above May is one thing. Acceptance is another. So we'll see uh, what the range would be for the four months coming into the September meeting. But for now, I am looking for this market to trade in to the 417 level, the 430 level, acceptance above that, the 450 level. Hope you had a good week trading. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll speak prior to the opening.